If you're switching from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve and you're trying to figure out how to color grade, I got you. So I've been using Premiere Pro for years and I've recently just switched to DaVinci Resolve Studio, but you can use these very same things I'm about to show you in the free version as well. So you're gonna open up and you'll probably, probably be on one of these two tabs here, but you wanna scroll over to the color tab over here where I already have my footage uploaded and then you're gonna do shift s to um to open up three more nodes and the reason why we're using a node structure or the reason why i like this node structure is that you can separate your color grading process into four different parts this first part we are going to uh, call cst for color transform or this also can be your um, conversion LUT that you may have bought and you want to use and i'll explain that in a second this next one we are going to call rgb for the rgb channel when we are um, um, uh, fixing that and then this one here we're going to call wb for white balance and this last one is going to be look or you can actually just call it LUT. So that's what we have here. So I do have a conversion LUT that I use at times and I know that I shot in uh, uh, S-Log3 Rec 709. So I am going to click that and that's what it would look like if I was to use that. Um, but the closest one is actually S-Log3 Sin Rec 709 that I would use. So that's what I would use and then I'd have to shift some things around, but I'm gonna show you a way to um, essentially have a built-in conversion um, LUT but it's something that DaVinci actually provides. And we are going to try and do this entire video in seven minutes. So um, we are looking for this. Here we go. And we're gonna take that and put that onto our CST. And also another note, stick around because there's another way um, using one of the tools that I use that can help you color grade a little bit better. So getting back to this, I'm gonna disturb you for just one second. If you are loving the content that you're seeing so far, go ahead and like this. If you are really loving it, then you can definitely subscribe. Like I would absolutely love that. And if you don't wanna miss anything else that I do on this channel that has to have everything to do with storytelling, filmmaking, and honestly, I just love cameras. And if you love cameras as well, hit the bell. Yeah, so like, subscribe, hit the bell. Yeah, do those things and I'll love you forever. Okay, cool, let's get back to the video. We're gonna put the color tr space transform on this third node over here, and we're going to pick our our uh, settings that we had in for use for this camera in particular, which is the FX3. So the first one is gonna be uh, the Sony S Gamut 3 uh, Sin, and we're looking for Gamma 2.4. There we go. And I already have my output color space and output gamma already clicked. If you go down to the bottom right hand corner to that gear and you go up, you can see it's Rec 709, Rec 709. So that's good, but you wanna make sure you still click it as well because sometimes it's not activated, which I don't know if that's a user issue on my side, but you just wanna make sure that you click it. So Rec 709 and rec 709 there we go and see it actually worked over here so then we're going to go over to the rgb node and we're going to start making some tweaks here so immediately i know that i want to stretch this out a little bit more so i'm going to uh, raise my gamma but i also want my shadows to be under that 129 area over here so 
I'm going to drop that down a little bit more, not too much. We don't want to crush the shadows, um, but my highlights are way too low. I want it up around that 896 range there. So I'm going to stretch it up to right about there. But as I do that, you see my lift, my shadows have been brought up a little bit more. We're going to drop that down. We're going to lift the midtones, the gamma again, and drop down the lift a little bit raise it up it's really what you are comfortable with and that is what i have so far and i'm noticing that there's a little bit too much blue or whatever that is um and we're gonna fix that in one second but we're gonna go to the white balance and the best way to have done this is to use a white balance card put it up in front of the camera so i can literally just click it um uh, click the white part uh, with my uh, dropper tool here so we are going to take that dropper tool that was right over here and we're going to find something that is white in the space in particular and we're going to hit that it corrects it now i'm looking at my highlights and i realize that's a little bit too much blue green i don't know what that is but we're going to bring it down a little bit uh, to correct that and then we're going to drop the shadows a little bit as well and i like this yeah what it looks like so far we've already did the white balance so we're going to move on to the look or the let that i'm going to put on and we have about less than three minutes so let's get to it so i'm going to go to the let that i've already installed here and i like the aod log warm that's the one that I'm going to be working with. Now, obviously that changes things a whole lot. So I'm gonna bring up my shadows a little bit more. I'm going to drop my gain a little bit more here. And then we are going to raise our gamma, our mid tones here. It's raising our shadows, so we're going to drop the shadows back down a little bit. I like the way that looks. I still think that there's a little bit too much green that is in the shadows in particular. Um, so we're going to correct that a little bit. And honestly, I like the way that that looks. I feel like that's not too much. I feel like maybe there's a little bit too much shadow there. So we're going to raise up the shadows a little bit more. As long as I have them at that 128 or lower, I think I'm okay with that. And that's pretty much all that I'm going to do. But I did want to tell you about this tool that I told you I was going to tell you about. And if you use Artless in particular, um, then you would have found out that they have a LUTs part now, which is pretty cool. And you can click into that and see all the LUTs that you can possibly use. Now, let's just say you wanted to use Mexico City. You would download that and you have that there. We're gonna switch over to our um, color management area where we saw the Rec 709. And we're gonna scroll down and go to open folder. Now, if you wanted to do that, I already have a folder that is in here with two things I've already downloaded from them. And all you're going to do is simply take Mexico City, what you just downloaded and drop it in there. And voila, it is in the editor. You're just gonna back out of it you're going to press update list press save and when you go to art list boom there you go mexico city is in there so that's just going to help you color grade a little bit more and have some options on how you're going to do things so I made the switch from uh, Premiere Pro to DaVinci because of this. <laughs> uh, not really. Like while I love the control, the reality is I just got tired of paying the monthly uh, So I paid for DaVinci Resolve outright and I have that, but everything that I have mentioned here, you can actually use 
in uh, um, uh, Da Vinci Resolve, the free version. So yeah, have fun doing that and let me know how you color grade, what LUTs do you use, what uh, subscription um, uh, LUTs do you have access to that you find are really great or what packages that you have bought. Anything that has to do with LUTs, uh, conversion LUTs or how you color grade, I would love to hear more about that. And ah, uh, yeah, there we go. About 10 seconds left and we are pretty much done. <laughs> anyway, that's all for me today. If this is something that blessed your spirit, go ahead and like this. If this is something that you would like to keep up with, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, blow it up people's elbow and all of that great stuff. And if you want to get an alert of when the next one comes out, go ahead and hit that bell as well. Please do. Until the next one, go ahead and do something creative today. Peace. I can't believe I crushed this in less than uh, seven minutes. Like, that's absolutely insane. It did take me a couple of times to do this because I was tripping up over myself and whatnot, but third time's the charm, right? Okay. <laughs> Uh, either way, let me know in the comments, like, what are some things that you would like to see from this channel? I'm learning myself and I'd like to take you on the journey. And if there's something that maybe I understand that you are struggling with, or you just like to see how I do it, then let me know. I would uh, love to help you out in any way, shape or form. So yeah, looking forward to hearing from you on some things that I can create.